Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, talking about my 10 favorite tweaks for Cydia. Let's get started. Um, number one is going to be scrolling board, and I'm going to have all the sources uh, for where to get these mods down in the description below. below. So check them out if you don't already have them installed onto Cydia. Um, so scrolling board basically gives you a few modifications. Uh, first of all, you can have a scrolling dock, which is pretty cool. So you can have uh, extra buttons down here. And then inside your folders, uh, you can actually have more room to do stuff. So you can have uh, multiple pages of apps. So you're not just limited to um, 12 apps in each folder. You can have as many as you want. Uh, number two is called Spring Tomize, and basically this is just a crap load of tools that you can use to customize pretty much anything on your iPhone or iPod or whatever device you have. So it's under the settings um, in the City S spot. So you got all your general settings like disable screen flash or disable spotlight which I have enabled because I don't really use that. Disable web search, bookmarks, you know, a bunch of options, capabilities, um, icons, you can uh, resize them, hide the label, hide whatever you want, have multiple rows, dock, um, you don't really want icons in dock if you already have scrolling board because that already gets you unlimited. Um, you can customize this color of your status bar, you can show when it's charging, uh, how much percentage it has, um, use a fake carrier name. So basically instead of AT&T or Verizon up there, it'll be like whatever you want it to be. You just have to type it in there. Um, disable whatever elements you have. I have airplane turned off right now because I'm in France and I don't really want the airplane mode to show. Lock screen, um, you know, uh, do whatever you want, disable stuff enable stuff, folders, remove them completely, or app switcher, rotate icons, whatever, buttons. You can have them so when you press the volume buttons they can vibrate and you can control the brightness too which is pretty cool. Animations, you can have uh, old TV lock screen. I think this is really cool. So basically if you enable this, uh, whenever you lock your screen it'll just do this little TV kind of lock screen thing from the old TVs. Which I think is pretty cool. Mm. Oh yeah, and screenshot color. So when you take a screenshot, it'll be a different color. So, I don't know, that one looked blue on the camera, but I said it's a magenta. Um, and theming. So basically, this is just what Winterboard would do. And if you don't know what Winterboard is, it's just basically stuff to customize your iPhone. The looks of it, stuff like that. So, after Spring to Mize, um there's another cool tweet called Live Clock, and basically it allows you to, uh, the clock icon right here, you can see that the little, um, the little second hand is moving, so it's kind of like an actual clock where it actually ticks as the time goes by, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Not really that useful since the time already shows at the top, but whatever. Uh, next one is kind of like that, except it's for the weather icon, and what it does is basically shows the weather. Uh, so it'll show how hot or cold it is. I'm sorry. Uh, for example, 99 degrees, and it'll show whether it's day or night, if the icon's dark or not, and it shows you if it's cloudy or, you know, whatever. Uh, so it's pretty cool. And then activator. This one's actually one of my favorites. So basically, uh, and if you have SB settings, which is the next one I'm going to talk about, already installed, it's going to install it with it. So activator, basically, you can activate any icon from basically anywhere with different stuff. So say you connect something, or right, say so you connect, you, you ch start charging your iPod, uh, and then as soon as it starts charging, whatever whatever app you have set, uh, to open when it starts charging will open automatically or say you have um, well I'm going to give you an example so for right now I have when I double tap the uh, the top bar up here it goes automatically to my camera app 
And so as you can see, I double tap that and it goes straight to the Camera Plus app. And then say I'm on my lock screen and I double tap the uh, status bar, it goes straight to uh, light. So I can turn on my light, strobe light, whatever. Um, and then say and I don't and as you can see I don't have any texting apps around here so that's because I set texting to uh, if I tap both of these volume buttons it automatically opens my texting application which is pretty cool um, that was an awkward text forget that don't read it it's really awkward my mom anyway activator is awesome so get that um sorry it's really hot in here okay so next one SB settings uh... if you don't already know about this one it's really pretty n well known um, you just have to give a little swipe at the top and it brings up settings like brightness or processes if you wanna you know free up some memory and um, usage on the phone you can enable Wi-Fi, bluetooth ad blocker 3g airplane mode data and you can refresh uh, you can respring right here. You can turn it on or off right there. I mean, it's really cool. It gives you a bunch of necess uh, not necessary, but really cool stuff to have, and it's really useful. So I would definitely get that. It doesn't just have those, by the way. You can add on more afterwards. Um, so coming in number seven is Icon Renamer. Uh, so with Icon Renamer, you can make it so you have to double tap it to rename it, which I did, just because if I accidentally tap one, I don't want the little uh, rename pop-up to appear, because it's kind of annoying if you're not trying to rename stuff. So basically what you can do is just hold down something, and then uh, tap it, and then it'll automatically come up with a little pop-up where you can rename whatever you want. So say convert bot, I'll say uh, I want to rename it to converter, or how about poop but and apply. As you can see, converter bot is now poop butt. Why not? Um, I'm definitely gonna change that back. That's kind of retarded. Sorry for my French. All right. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can do that with any app, even the native ones. You know, phone, calendar. You can rename everything poop butt if that really does something for you. I don't know. Next, multi icon mover. Now, what this does is pretty self explanatory. This is why I actually set it so that it's double tap to rename because otherwise, every time that I tap something to move, uh, it'll just um, ask to rename it instead, which is kind of annoying. So, basically, just tap on anything you want to move. See, right there. Uh, not folders. You'd have to tap each individual icon. So, say you want to move those three apps. So you just take that and then um, actually I haven't tested this out yet so I think you can just tap wherever you want to move them no oh wait I think you press the home button yeah they automatically move there so that's pretty cool so just tap them whatever icons you want to move scroll to the page you want to move them and then press the home button and they automatically appear just pop up and it's really useful if you have a whole page of apps that you need to move and you um, you don't want to like spend a bunch of time just moving them individually because it gets really annoying after some time. Um, Alright, so next app is Beta Font or Beta Font. I don't know what it's called, but something along those lines. So basically what you can do is change uh, all your fonts on your iPod and as you can see I've already got some font changes of my own like the clock uh, font is different and all the app names and uh, even when I'm going to like messages and try to send a text the keyboard text will be a different font so by the font is pretty cool because you can uh, browse any fonts and basically just install any font you want onto your phone and so I'll go most downloaded. The most downloaded ones are pretty crappy, I gotta say. I don't know why people would download these. They have really bad taste in fonts. Like that. That's the most downloaded font. That's retarded. But anyway, there are good ones on here. So uh, da once you download one, it'll appear uh, under basic, and then you just tap it, and then it's gonna respring your phone. 
And then once you unlock it again, uh, everything will be whatever font you chose it to be. Really cool in my opinion. Um, finally, 10th app, 10th tweak, I should say, is Face Break. Now, Face Break is actually really cool because um, if you have an iPhone, instead of uh, having, instead of like being only able to FaceTime and Skype, ch video chat and stuff like that, um, over 3G, you can actually do it, or I mean over Wi-Fi, you can actually do it over 3G now. Um, that way you don't have to be on a Wi-Fi connection to be able to do all those three just things like uh, and say like you want to download an app that's over 20 megabytes um, over 3G then you can just enable this and then it'll let you uh, download whatever app you want no matter what the size is it's a really cool app highly recommend that if you have an iPhone um, so that's about it uh, hope you liked the video I'll probably make another one soon. I'm kind of on vacation right now, so, you know, maybe not as often. Um, you know, leave a comment uh, telling me what your favorite Cydia app or tweak is. Uh, like this video down there. That'd be cool. Uh, favorite it if you want. And lastly, subscribe if you want to stay updated, because if you don't subscribe, you're pretty much never going to be able to know when my new videos come out. Unless they somehow go viral, which I really doubt. But anyway, catch you later. Uh, have fun jailbreaking and stuff. <laughs>